Hello you wonderful people and welcome to another collab. This time it's with a great artist from Australia, Ella Personen. We both have a similar focus on animal art and endangered species on, uh, species on our channels. She and I both have series on them and playlists on our channels. For the collab, we both wanted to raise awareness to the situation that many species are in. Their habitat being destroyed or them being hunted for no logical reason. Being from Australia and Germany, we decided to paint endangered spe animals from each other's country. I yet have to watch which one Ella has chosen, as it's a little surprise for me. After looking up several animals that came to my mind, I settled on the koala. They are cute and cuddly and vulnerable to extinction. With a size of 16 to 85 centimeters and weights between 4 and 15 kilograms, koalas are pretty small. I expected them to be at least as big as Dante. For those who are new to my channel, welcome and Dante is my dog, who sometimes makes appearances in my photos and videos, but for sure on my Instagram account. The young koalas uh, spend the first six to seven months in their mother, uh, mother's belly pouches, which uh, where they grow. The grown animals are asocial, meaning that bonding really just exists between the mother and her still dependent baby. Right now the koalas are threatened by different illnesses such as bacteria and viruses as well as bush, uh, bushfires and droughts. There was a belief that koalas don't need to drink, which is not true. While they rarely come down from the eucalypt trees to drink, they consume water by eating the leaves of the trees. And just a fun fact, most of their time these cuddly fluffy animals spend sleeping. Right now, there are still bushfires going in Australia. Ella was talking about them shortly in one of her recent vlogs, which I can recommend. She has a wonderful illustrative style to paint and uses different media. Especially her series of burnt paintings really impressed me. While painting the koala, I just was so inspired by her style that I decided to paint the way I did. So different from my usual style. For the painting I used handmade paints made by wonderful paint makers. Some, some of them are made from semi-precious stones such as lapis, lapis lazuli. This felt just like the perfect medium to use on the precious, for the precious animal. Let's get back to environment and climate changes. This year, as well as the last years, were difficult and the results of climate change are here. We all can feel them. There were huge fires this summer on almost all the continents, I believe, storms, droughts and floods. Last year we had a major drought in Germany, which usually has no problems with water. The levels of groundwater are still low, even though it has rained more this year. With this collab, we want to raise awareness for our animal friends on any continent, as well as climate change. I feel like it's urgent to change our way of life altogether. What is your opinion on that topic? I'm very curious to know. I consider selling this piece and donate 100% of the profit to, to a charity. When I reopen my shop. For your information, the packing material is minimal. It's all made from recycled paper and can be 100% recycled or reused. All links, especially the one to the video of Ella, whom I col collab with, is linked down below in the description box. Also, I want to have shoutouts to other channels to help everyone grow. So if you want a shoutout, please let me know and leave a comment either here or on my Instagram account. Thank you everyone for watching and have a creative day. Bye.